Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and behind me is the glorious and beautiful tree farm. Mostly, sort of. Um, you see, there was a little bit of a problem. Uh, I should have uh, instructed someone to only do one tree at a time instead of going full bore. And uh, something broke up there, which blew up part of the thing and caused a <laughs> log jam. Uh, wow, that's weird. Usually the... Uh, The music's not usually that much higher. I mean, I, or, this is another one of those things where everything is normally the same. Unless, uh... No. It's nothing I can fix right now. Oh, wrong button. Audio. Voice meter output. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's changed on any of my audio settings at all. Except for the part where I accidentally killed the audio instead of messed with it. Uh, let's try that again. Alright. Okay. So, um, yeah. There, there was a, a, a problem. So that's gonna that that's the bad news. Uh, we're gonna spend some time today working on this and at least resetting it or some of it at least. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the blast chamber because I don't know how. I don't know where the problem is. Um, all I can think of off the cuff is that something got out of whack with the uh, the pistons that push all the logs in because there shouldn't be anything pushing this log down um, and that that might actually be it I don't know. All right, so I'll have a look at that. Some something might be off its axes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got this stuff down here that'll have to be fixed. That'll be the easy stuff. Well, relatively easy stuff. So I'll just start working my way back from the blast chamber, fixing these little smart piston setups, and talking a little bit about how they work, or at least as good as I can understand, and uh, trying to reset. This bit right here that went uh, horribly, horribly wrong. Sad face. And on the good news side, because remember I said bad news, good news in the in the session title. And uh, Ray asked, you might want to join me for this one. What? Come, come on, come on up to the 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 top with me. Uh, hold on, I'm in a hole, literally, not figuratively. how to best mark where I'm at. You know, since mm -hmm. I'm putting the carpet in. Yep. No, so I heard somebody... you. I heard you. No, I heard you. Whee! Ooh. Ow. Hey, beach duck. Hello, Hello, Beach Duck. All right. We got a new road. Which 
Shall we uh, follow said road? We shall, but I can't do that while I'm holding golden carrots. No, not usually. All right. This is very Stop back here for oh, a second. Hello. Yeah, stop a marvel right here real quick. You see that platform? That is set up to spawn uh, hoglins. The big, fat, mean hoglins that'll eat your face if you get too close to them. Oh, see? There goes a couple of them right there. Um, no, you haven't missed that much beach duck. Just a couple of projects nah. that went sideways and blew up on us, and that's about it. <laughs> so... This column here on the right is leather. So after 12 hours of running this, I got almost a full double chest of leather. The rest of okay. those boxes are pork chops. Cooked pork chops. Like, done? Like, uh, Holy one, two, three, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 double chests full of pork chops out of 12 hours. That's not counting what I put in my, uh, paper bag lunch. See? Wow. It's in a brown shulker box called the non-junior's bag lunch. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so you're putting some of the gold <laughs> carrots away in my box? <laughs> I just topped you off. I was being helpful. Uh I, well, I, obviously, I don't need them right now because I'm going nothing but cooked pork chops from here on out. Are you kidding me? Which one do uh -oh. we take them from? Whatever one you want. <laughs> I mean, seriously, th this is not. Boxes. Huh? But all it, the boxes it'll fill are back done. Up. It'll fill back up in the order, in whatever order it needs to. Besides, I mean, mm -hmm. with that many already in storage, I don't think anybody's going to need an AFK for more food for a while. That might even hold That's us fair. until the end of the season. Um, not quite bacon beach duck. More like... Pork chop. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pork chops. What's and this? I, don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it over here, but that little square all the way up there, that's the AFK platform if you ever feel like doing that. Yes, because I'm so noted for my AFK. -ing. Although it's kind of funny looking over the edge at all the uh, the hoglins spawning in. Where am I here? What's this? That is what Medic and Arcadius used to get us the piglins for the trading hall. So oh. they made a little piglin capture chamber and uh, railed them all the way over there. I'm assuming it was a rail and they didn't rowboat them over. No, we railed it. Okay. If, I kind of figured that if was If this case. is like sausage, does that mean that we could get the cream cheese stuff and Arcadius could make that thing that he makes that goes in the biscuits? Oh, man. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, we got that one very successful project. And it's actually really simple. I, I forgot to put up the sign uh, because I pulled this off of Logical Geek Boy's... Um, channel he's got a simply minecraft series that he's working on and they're all extra simple farms so instead of uh instead of worrying about high-end german efficiency like some oh mango um it, it is it is geared for most people to be able to put together relatively early game um so i, I will i will put a sign up and a link and I'll try to make sure I include the link in the description as long as my cohorts here remind me to when we're done with the stream uh, I knew I was forgetting something but yeah I mean it, it's just uh, some of these uh, crimson or sorry the warped the warped mushrooms spaced uh, around the perimeter it, and the piglins hate them so much that uh, sorry the hoglins <laughs> hate them so much they will literally run and die in a fire rather than stay near them. And the late level keeps anything else from spawning. So you don't have to worry about zombie wow. pigmen. You don't have to worry about uh, piglins, uh, ghasts, or anything like that because the late level is high enough. Ooh, I got one better for you. Uh-oh. 
Hey, Beach Duck. At the end of the stream, can you remind Anon to put up a sign for his pork shop farm? <laughs> why, why, why is that? Oh. Seriously? Yep. You're going there. Yep. Not going. Went. Alright. I'm leaving now. <laughs> By the way, this, we, we have got to get this kind of gold farm going a lot sooner uh, next season. Well, gold didn't matter earlier. Uh, that is true. That is true. Uh, XP mattered, though. XP always matters. Down, up, up. I'm already up. I need to go down. <laughs> down, up, down, up, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. Start select. Uh yeah, no, th this was not a, this was not an expert mode moment. Um, no, not at the end of the river, the end of the, <laughs> the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> like the thing where, where we're doing the talking, talking. <laughs> yeah, I. Oh my. I, uh, oh my. No, I, mean, I knew no, our demographic no was a little older, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so we went there. All right. Yeah, so this hole is where I'm going to have to replace a bunch of components because uh, they, they were too close to the TNT. So let me uh, let me just go ahead and start uh, cleaning cleaning up all the lumber and seeing what broke. Yeah. Here, Cadius. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's a dangerous Would hair, Would you like Cadius. to help? I am helping. Why do you guys not like it when I say stuff? Uh, it's not so much that you say stuff. It's th There's a tone. Th there's a tone that gives everybody pause. I uh, understand why. Oh, I should have brought some of my redstone dust. Uh... Let me go grab some redstone stuff before I go back to fixing that. That's almost half right. <laughs> oh, and I still got. Hey, are you coming, honey? Mm, I'm already helping. I gotta figure Sorry, out. Uh, you know. Do something. I gotta figure out where in here I'm gonna fit the uh, kelp farm that's gonna feed bone meal into this too. I almost wonder if that turn right there was unnecessary. Should I have moved that a little bit closer this way? A little bit further that way. So is your next thing you're gonna tell everybody how to do the thing? Yeah, I, I just realized I forgot to grab stuff. And I'm not going to go into how. I'm just going to go into explaining a little bit about how it works as I fix it. As best I can. Because I, I will readily admit there's a lot of this that I just, I don't. I'm not a crazy German engineer. <laughs> Thing. It's a very, very good entree at a very, very nice place. What? I do like the thing. I had that the last time we went there. Wait, what did I miss? In chat, Beach Duck was inquiring about my usage of the phrase "the thing." Oh. Okay. Never mind. That—that's the part that I was like, "the thing." Um. Yeah. Yeah. We we ought to get uh, Mary Bills at some point. Oh, and and while we're talking about clarifying things, uh, I was looking as a joke for Sabak card or for for uh, Pazak cards on Amazon, and I keep getting either Sabak or the Han Solo card game TM. Um, so I'm going to ask 
the server's resident uh, wizard of all things Star Wars. It is Sabacc different from Pazak? And is that the game that Han Solo wins the Millennium Falcon at? This is a hotly debated topic. Any oh. time, any oh. time oh. you ever I, hear I didn't it realize mentioned it was in a book. Into... Yeah. Anytime you ever hear it mentioned in a book or in a movie, it is Sabak. It okay. is a Sabak tournament. It is Sabak cards. I mean, it's the whole thing. Uh, the Idiot's Array, all that is played in Sabak. When they came out with the video games, they all put the P on it for some reason, and it's now Puzak. Oh. Uh, um, then why do, why do the game rules in the Sabak sets that are available on Amazon look like they're different rules than the game I'm playing in Knights of the Old Republic? Because they are very different games. Okay. In... In actual Sabak, you are trying to get certain cards, like a regular card game. Um, you're, you're attempting to get things like an Idiot's Array, which is <laughs> a set of cards which include the Idiot that bring you to a natural zero. So pluses okay. and minuses for different kings and queens all adds up to a zero total because of the Idiot. Um, and that is the winning hand. Hands down, nothing beats it. Okay. Um, basically, it surmises that the Aldranian High Queen has been ousted by her jester and run off with the crown and all the jewels. And then you have uh, a whole bunch of other cards that titled basically like that. It's kind of like if you sat down with a poker hand. Um, and you played, uh, you know, poker, you get a full house, things like that. Except for in Sabak, you're dealt two cards to start. And every time you're dealt a card, you have to re-ante and all that stuff. So it's some sort of really odd Texas, uh, style poker. Texas Hold'em um, kind of. Because, I mean... Sort of. But the thing is, is that Texas Hold'em didn't become popular or known, and I, I'm not even sure if it was even created before <laughs> Sabak was a thing. So I'm not entirely you know, kosher on those rules, but... Did I catch the piston? Okay, I did. I mean, if you're trying uh, to find an actual Sabak deck, I mean, show me it and I'll, uh, I'll let you know what it's talking about. Well... No, 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 because the, the, the rules seem to be different. Like, what I'm playing in Knights of the Old Republic seems to be very much blackjack. Like, it, it is straight up blackjack, except you're going for 20 instead of 21. Well, that's kind of what you're doing in Sabak. You want either a, a flush 20 or as close as possible other than what your opponent ends up with. Yeah. Okay, so like it so it is the over, same game because it, it doesn't be seem like the same. It's, no, exactly, it's not the same game because okay. you're playing with cards that are like minus two, minus five. Yeah. No, plus no, no, 10. no, 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 no. What 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 I mean is is the difference between Puzak in the video game and Subak in what you can find at a retailer outlet. Yeah, no, it's it's probably two completely different games trying to be the original Sabak without knowing that you really can't be. <laughs> I say that only because the cards that you're dealt are skiffs. They are magnetic cards. So at any point in time, if you do not have your hand pushed forward into the safety zone, which is the front of the table away from you, like not in your hand anymore, the dealer uh, will hit a button at a random interval throughout the game and all the cards that you have in your hand that are not in that safety zone and locked will shimmer and shift to a new card. Huh. Um, That's not a nice game. It's <laughs> rough. <laughs> your, your luck can change uh, so, uh, rather rapidly. <laughs> is, this, is this why there's a... Uh, uh, 
Senate rules with blasters holstered. <laughs> yes, no, there, there are a ton of rules across the galaxy. There's the hut rules, there's the Senate rules, there's yeah. uh, the Alderanian Council rules, there's the Alderanian Queen rules, which is really uh, okay. famous. That, that was the other thing that I saw, is that people were claiming that uh, the, the game that you see in all the solo stuff uh, while it goes by the same name, is merely a variant that uh, that has different rules. I, I wouldn't say that, because in the game you're playing in the video games, your cards mm -hmm. do not shift. And you brought your own cards to the table, which is yeah, not... that's part of my confusion. <laughs> yeah, you do not bring your own cards to the table in uh, Sabak. You are... You have to deal with the house deck. There is a huge fiasco on whether or not Han cheated. Uh, well, I mean, there's always a huge fiasco about whether or not Han cheated. Let's. Uh, well, no, this in particular will explain a lot of people's like, why was he acting that way in The Empire Strikes Back with Lando Calrissian? It's because. He won the Millennium Falcon from uh, Calrissian. Calrissian was a huge gambling fanatic. He would go to every tournament. He would, you know, play Pazak all around the universe. And after he had won enough money, he made a he made himself basically a used car dealership for spaceships. Huh. And. You can find all this out in uh, book two. Yes, book two of the Han Solo trilogy. Don't ask me what its individual title name is. I don't know. But um, now we're talking about original Star Wars stuff, not that. Not that yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we're not talking about the the <laughs> not, movie. Not the um, mouse. Yeah. Like. Um, okay. Can can I can I just say that the uh, <laughs> the the movie. Okay, no, 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 sorry. I, I just got distracted by this uh, for a second. All right. Um, the... I, I I made the unfortunate mistake of actually watching the, uh, the Solo movie. It was basically a... From my understanding, I haven't watched it, even though I have access to it. Uh, it's my understanding that basically that was some sort of Ocean's Eleven... Star Wars style. <laughs> um, it was an excellent sci-fi movie. It was an okay Star Wars movie. It was a shame of a movie bearing the name Solo. Gotcha. Well, so yeah. so if we're if we're to judge it on the basis of you know like if you cut the name Solo out of it or you cut it out of the Star Wars universe and go hey we've got a sci-fi movie. And it's got this really neat guy. It was an okay sci-fi movie. Like it was, it was a decent sci-fi movie. You change me. the setting <laughs> to the Star Wars universe, and it becomes eh, it was an okay Star Wars movie. I mean, you know, it's, it's a nice universe to play in. And then you add Solo to it, and there's just so many things that are like, huh? How did? How the what? The who? No. Uh, I can ask you one question right now. Was he a slave? <laughs> um, like starting off as a child, was he a slave? Did he pick pockets for a robot? I don't think so, but I don't think we're starting him off as a child in that one either. We need a spoiler warning to this or something. Oh, you, you've had plenty. You've had plenty of time to watch this. Come on now. It, the the solo <laughs> movie's been out for how long? If you haven't watched it by now, I mean, I, I'm not I don't... watching it. But well, there's that too. <laughs> anyway, um, but getting back to the there we the go. Point, I don't even remember where I was or what was I talking about. <laughs> it's okay, Beach Duck. You're not missing much. Oh, we boy. we can all safely pretend that movie doesn't exist. <laughs> This is actually working out pretty... Alright. 
I still got all that backlog. <laughs> Pun slightly intended to fix. That's right. Why, uh... Why Han and uh, Lando aren't very much friends. Anyway, so Lando takes all his winnings and makes himself a used spaceship lot. And he has a particular ship that he is dolling up on the side. The Millennium Falcon. And Han is at the same tournament as Lando. He is extremely down on his luck. He only has like the 100 credit entry fee that he used to start the, <laughs> the tournament with. Um, because he was just ousted from the Imperial, you know, Academy. Because he okay, because the the movie actually had him as an active duty soldier in the Imperium, and I was like, I don't, I don't think that's right. That doesn't seem yeah, right. No, he was he was an active duty soldier for less than a month. <laughs> no, no, okay, uh, then they they got the less than a month part right. Yeah, no, because yeah. His first tour of duty was delivering a bunch of slave Wookiees to a building project. <clears throat> you can guess what that is. Um, yeah. Heavy lifting, big project, secret. Yeah, you go, you go with that. Anyway, is that how he so, met a certain Wookiee? That is exactly how he met a certain Wookiee. And that Wookiee followed him around until he accepted the fact that he wasn't getting rid of that Wookiee. Anyway, so he wouldn't let them whoop a said Wookiee for not obeying or whatnot, and he was ousted from the Imperial Army. Um, Navy, sorry, Navy. Um, uh, and in doing yeah. so, was blackballed as a pilot, yada, 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 yada. So anyway, he gets into this tournament trying to make something of himself, uh, and he figures he'll go back to what he knows from childhood, which is smuggling. But you need a ship for that. And he can't get one because he's blackballed. There we go. So he needs a lot more money to get himself a ship, which means he needs to win this tournament. And you've got the land, the uh, solo luck, as they call it throughout the books. Uh, everyone that is anyone thinks he's just, well, or sensitive and was never trained or never caught and oh. trained either way. Um, because he has way too much luck on his side. Way too much luck. Anyway, yeah. so we get to the end of this Like, like the, the kind of, uh, you, you got a little something up your sleeve kind of luck, or? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of times. <laughs> That's what it equates to. Uh, but anyway, so we get to the end of this tournament, and Lando and him are the last two at the table. And Lando is out of funds. So he throws down a disc saying the chip means you can take any ship from my stock. Okay. They finish the hand. Han Solo wins the last hand by a shimmer and being dealt the fool with the idiot's array. I've often that been dealt the said, fool. I didn't like those projects. <laughs> that being said, uh, he stands up from the table and tells Lando that he wants the Millennium Falcon. And Lando is like, what? That's my ship. You said any ship in your stock. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you'd want like the flashy, you know, whatever he's got sitting around. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, he wants the Millennium Falcon. And he strands... <laughs> Lando Calrissian out in that asteroid field where they were having the tournament because he drove oh. his ship off. <laughs> okay. Can you see why now there I'm might be some salt there? <laughs> now I'm really sad I saw the movie. I, 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 oh, I, I guess I need to go get the books and read them. <laughs> I have yes. them on the shelf. Always. Always get the books and read them. Well, this is the moral th of the story. Th this comes back to something that Brian and Tom have said a lot on Cord Killers. Uh, Tom, Tom's contention, and Brian supports it, is always watch the movie first and then read the book. That way, you've had the opportunity to be familiar with names and whatnot through the movie, and you are you, you feel like you get a better experience out of the book. As opposed to having a really good experience with the book and then getting very disappointed by the movie. Well, I'm ruined because I've read all the books. <laughs> At least the ones that matter. 
Uh, like it, from my understanding, the movie doesn't go into any of the important history on what actually makes Solo Solo. The the whole thing that he's actually had two long term, almost wives. Like he dated these girls forever. One of them turns on him. The other, uh, was she actually force sensitive and secretly being trained by Darth Maul? No. No, she oh. turns on him by uh, basically turning her back on him and running away, saying that she's not good enough mm-hmm. for him, blah, 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 blah. That's the first one. The s- second one uh, is pretty much his girl throughout the entire second book, and you only hear about her in passing and stuff. They have to go help her, yada, 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 yada. Uh, But for the most part, she's a background ancillary character, or whatever you want to call it. And then she leaves him with a Dear John note on the side of the the bed when he wakes up the next day. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) And then we come back to the third book, and we re-meet the girl from the first book who has joined this rebel cause. It's rough. How did that get stuck? Never mind. I don't. And I, I like the touch that they put at the very end of the third book, because they're down on money. They are in a really tough bind. They have to pay back the huts. You know, it, it's just a really bad you know scenario. And it ends the last book with someone telling them, you know, if you go to this, uh, you go to the bar. There's a guy looks like a real sucker that needs a ride (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) wonder who that is probably some old guy and a kid I guess (laughs) that's cute alright it's a good nod at the end there yeah without all that background knowledge I don't think because Whoever they get to play Solo needs to know that stuff if they're going to properly portray the character. Otherwise, you, you know, I don't see you pulling it off. But um, You didn't find any random extra note blocks when you helped me clean this up, did you? Huh? No, I only found... Uh redstone dust every once in a while that was it okay uh just to let everyone know the dark oak logs is completely full spruce is almost full oh are you talking about over at the storage center yeah i'm trying to i'm just making sure we have enough wood in here that everyone needs it uh well, Beach Duck, I am trying to build a tree farm, and, and I, I had a minor setback. It blew up in my face. Um, Literally. In all fairness, I should have tested a little slower than I did, and I should have had somebody uh, placing trees slower than they were. Hey, yo, you told me to do that. Uh, no, <laughs> the problem was when I said that and you said, but I already am, that's when I should have known to worry. <laughs> I had just started. <laughs> uh-huh. I had. All right. Either way. <laughs> right, so now I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to fix. Oh, that's what I came here for. We'll see how much wood would chuck chuck. If wood chuck could chuck wood. And I forgot the rest of that. Don't ask me for the rest of that. I think that is the rest of it. No, there's more to it than that. All right, if I ha- okay. woodchuck could chuck all the wood, if woodchuck could chuck wood. Could chuck wood. I've never oh. heard anything beyond that. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck could chuck wood. A woodchuck could chuck all the wood. A woodchuck could chuck wood. Did he get... 
Is that why that doesn't look right? Anyway, who are you helping right now, hon? Oh. Maybe... Getting wood. Uh, are you supposed to be using... No, not the far. I'm doing it manually. <laughs> okay, well, I need help with the project. Uh-oh. Oh, is this clearing out the space for the redstone? Uh, partially. Um, what I want him to do is go down because he knows where all of his stuff is for all of his sound machines. Ah. And I want to make sure I don't accidentally run into them. So I am doing the perimeter one block around all of his sound machines so we don't accidentally yeah. touch it. And so we know where those are uh, in yellow glass so that as we're digging, we know if we hit yellow glass... Don't eat the yellow glass. We've hit something of value. Oh, wait. Because I figured it would be nice to not mess up any of the sound machines. Yeah. That would that would be very nice. Alright. Um What in God's green earth happened here? I um apparently Arcadia is in TNT. Oh, uh -uh. no, no, no. He he didn't do the TNT. I, the the whole system backed up after a massive failure. Oh, it was it a critical it failure? Me. It was a critical failure. That's what happens when you don't throw a diagnostic chicken in there first. There's no diagnostic chicken to throw in here. Better get a new one. Diagnostic timber? I, mean, <laughs> I could, uh... Shark needs a beverage. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What is the shark Don't doing? Don't worry. I've got the enhanced coffee. Let me fix what I'm sure of. Can't fix anything? Three. So that's going to go there. These guys go all the way down. Rotate down and down. Is these guys gonna? All right. So that triggers as that goes down. This extends a piston, pushes it down, pushing all the logs down. As each log goes over that torch, it completes the connection to that redstone, powering it which powers this piston, pushing it on in that direction. Which seems to be working. Okay. So far, so good. And it looks like the rest of this is fixed too, maybe. Make sure to block me in here, please. There's one spot here for where I've been working. All right, so those come down here. They get pushed that way, pushed across that way, pushed down that way, and forward. Didn't okay. accidentally hit any of the repeaters, did you? Mm, not that I'm aware of. No blocks, any sounds while you were here? Mm, no, no sounds. Okay. I think I've got all that fixed.
the yellow stained glass in my boxes. I've got plenty. Stacks before coming down here. Glass is full. I, I take it the glass is more than half full. Which glass? The shark glass. Oh. I I do notice that the hunger goes through. Uh, because pork chops don't have the same saturation as the golden carrots, you, you tend to go through hunger faster. On the other hand, we're not running out of pork chops anytime soon. Fair. And hun, make sure when you're uh, outlining those, your boxes, anything that you would be concerned about, like redstone hitting, maybe do a double wall. Because that should stop the flow, right? Alright, there's the one extra box I got out of that. Know that you can't cover up anything. You know, I don't know. Do pork chops go with red wine or white wine? Um, someone who is more savvy at wine stuff should answer that question. Question? Do pork chops go with red wine or white wine? White. White? Mm-hmm. Is there, like, a rule of thumb for the... For those who uh, are not appropriately inclined to said, uh, knowledge... Like, is it the color of the meat? Is it white meat goes with white wine, or...? Traditionally, no. Ah. But fish automatically goes to white. Regardless of whether it is a salmon, which is technically red. Oh, well, it's pink! Well, I don't know. Who cooked it? Exactly. <laughs> I feel like that was mean. What? It was true, though. Depends on who cooked it. Come on. No. You do all sorts of crazy stuff, aren't you? Always. <sighs> Can, can I say for the record again, I absolutely hate that Il Mango is using that mod that lets you properly place the orientation of whatever it is you're trying to put down, and I hate that you actually need a mod like that to make this sort of stuff work. Like, you should be able to hold a button down and rotate things instead of whatever this mess is. Like, doesn't, uh, doesn't 
seven ways to die. Sorry, seven days to die. Give you something along that line. It does. I was going to say, that's not in the question for me. So. <laughs> yeah, it gives... Okay. Um, you right click and then you have several rotation options um based like you can just keep clicking and once you select the orientation for the object then you can stamp place okay it down so you have like an extra menu that you go into when you want to change the orientation so it comes with whatever stock but you can modify that and it makes building a lot easier yeah. Uh, Mo Yang, if you're looking for ideas to steal, <laughs> you know, being able to like hold something down and uh, and then rotate it as you put it down would be awesome. Signed, every person trying to build complicated redstone. certain person cooks it, it will be, well, yes, uh, that is regardless of what they cook. Tasty, but well done. Again, I'm feeling attacked. Who said anything about you? Um, I don't even think anyone needed help to know that. Okay. I think that part is all fixed. I can't remember if that's supposed to be clear or not. I think it is. How far back did things get messed up? Okay. So that part's working. That part's working? Question mark. Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh dear, what can the matter be? <laughs> oh, piglet. Oh, yeah, it was the rabbit that was the nervous wreck, right? Yes. Uh, it was the little piglet. The rabbit was the OCD. No, the, ra the rabbit was neurotic. Okay. So it's piglet that was uh, the nervous wreck. And Eeyore was sad. Yeah, you said you were having problems with your uh, electronics and stuff. All right, let me uh, let me do this. I don't I don't like uh, switching back and forth between stuff like this, but I really do need to go to the single player. I need to go to the Universal Tree Farm world. This is one of the nice things that Old Mango does, is he provides world downloads like Duck, this. So you can go through and go, okay, there should be no logs there. And I was right, that column should be clear. And then everything else looks about right, because that should be... Yeah, there should be that log there. That gap there. 
Mind the gap. And mind the gap indeed. And then. And not and then. And then. Sorry, I've been watching Corrales. And, uh, and then I can figure out what I'm doing with that. Because that's the thing. Yes, I am flying. I am in a creative world that the person who created that contraption put together so you can check and see <laughs> see what you did right or wrong, as the case may be. Um, and I... I'm wondering, did I break something when I tried to mob-proof it, too? Because I, I really didn't want a creeper or something uh, spawning on top of uh, the lumber and whatnot. But I don't... I don't see where that would have changed anything in any of those. Alright. Let's head back to Kafkraft. I've at least fixed the pistons. Do anything live where? In the testing? No. That that's that's more for me to go see how it's supposed to work and then cry as mine doesn't. <laughs> Is that how that works? Right. That's how that seems to be working, I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, winging it is how you end up with a, a blown up contraption. I've done enough winging it on this project. Most of it's worked out though. Like, like this this little contraption here that we did last week, that worked out pretty well. Um, and the other little little stream that we, the other little river that runs through it worked out pretty well. I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna get some bone meal into this. Um, I need to, f I need to, I think I'm going to try to design the kelp farm myself just to, just to do something myself. Although I think I've got an idea what one would work from, uh, impulses live stream. So does that still count as me designing it or am I just borrowing from impulse by proxy? I mean... I think that gets into some of that licensing stuff where it's kind of like, at what point... At what point is it an original creation? At what point is it inspiration? And what point is it uh, a new work yeah. unto itself? Yep. Because it's hard to tell. Like, especially with stuff like this where it's all variations on a theme. Yeah, like a lot of this... Oh yeah, th this is totally... Th this, this isn't my work. This is me following a step-by-step. -step. And then you place this here, and then you place that there, and then... Uh, whereas the... The kelp farm is going to be far more... Well, I know that the basic theory is... Alright, let me clear out a little bit of this pile of logs right here. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and fire it up, run a tree through, and make sure that it at least gets to this part correctly. And then I can start working on clearing out and deconstructing that hot mess. Is that the, is that the collective noun for redstone that isn't working? A hot mess of redstone. Yep. Or is that that just that me thinking exactly that? That is exactly it. Nope, that's exactly it. Okay. And then I gotta put a shelter around the storage too. There is so much redstone. Yeah. Yeah. And then I get to figure out what I'm doing about your lights. I mean, what 
about well, you almost even have pathways sort of to do it under there hmm? uh where i have carpeted over the lamp that's how i know that i've already dug out the hole underneath okay I mean, what fool so would have agreed to something like that? I can track what I've done and I what just, I haven't. I don't know. Arcadius, how are you doing on the project of um okay. insulating all your uh underground electronics? Insulating. Um I should be done. I'm over at the one that's in uh the new water tower of crazy sugar cane and soon destructive uh creepers and i'm not thinking i need to do it here oh Which are was... you putting carpet on top of the lamps or just underneath where the redstone goes i'm putting it on on top so that i know which ones i've done and which ones i haven't okay because are I'm you going to remove back and the carpet from the underground on top? and overground yes okay yeah that once i finish like a, a lot of, the front side a or a carpet. contiguous section yes okay it's not like we're lacking for wool no, no, no. It's more, what do we do with all the extra wool once we're done? All right. I'm going to start using small trash too. have a too. trash chest. Oh. <laughs> okay. Burn it. All right. Burn it. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll remember that when you're looking for that kind of stuff later. And you or go, I'll keep it. I mean, I have all this actually left over from when I was trying to make the, this is all the carpet from trying to make the paintings. Ah. Before we made them paintings. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I found the cats. The cats? <laughs> the oh, the silenced cats? <laughs> Yeah. Where did, wow. Where did my dirt go? Did that get moved around somehow? Um. Oh. Shoot. There was anything that <laughs> should have gotten whoop. How did logs get stuck there? We don't ask those kind of questions on the server. Not without coffee. What happened? Um, what should I do with the cats? Uh, find a good home for them? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm. I'm struggling with how did that even happen. Oh wait, no, don't don't off them. I think he needs them for the new creeper farm. I don't know if I'm going to need them for the new creeper farm or not. Okay. It depends on uh, which design I end up going with. somewhere out of the way. I don't... Uh. I 
have no idea what just happened there. Deep breath. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Close. So that is oh, I'm gonna have to There we go. Fine, fine. Where's that getting his power from? Did that get pushed back? Need to get need to get up there somewhere. Trying to remember where that piston gets powered from. And I feel like a bad round of Mario Brothers. There we go. somebody sleeping trying to I'm not okay so I am literally buried in the redstone <laughs> all right and that gets power in there what is it it's a redstone contraption that is supposed to make infinite number of trees destroy all the leaves, and then blow the blocks up so we can pick them up for free. Yeah. However, <laughs> through some shenanigans not of our own creation, it blew up on our first trial attempt. Maiden Voyage went literally kablooey. Knocked out over half the redstone, and now we're trying to figure out what we did wrong. And by we... I specifically mean a non-junior. Uh, yeah. To be fair, he's also trying to follow... Like, this is the one thing that I, like, I both love and hate about Minecraft. Especially as, like, someone who does not speak Redstone at all. <laughs> so you have this tutorial. And it's an amazing, brilliant, like, someone who literally should be, like, curing COVID or something there that smart. Has made this beautiful electrical engineering madness of Redstone. And right, where's the butt? they're trying to relay the description with English not at all as their native language. And apparently they don't have right. any good English friends that are like, colloquially, <laughs> that's not really how we use that word, but okay. <laughs> or they don't listen to their friends. I learned that the hard way with another friend. That yeah, I was getting ready to say, I friends. seem to sometimes recall an incident where, uh, you know, having friends and listening to them are two very different things truth very truth so anyway so you have that and then it's being done with a lot of assumed knowledge that is not well, necessarily there I'd like to also be fair to him in that uh, how do I want to do this I need oh not just him like in general like this has pulse. been my finding anytime i'm trying to follow tutorials and stuff is that their minecraft has a little bit of a world of tanks issue in that we forget that noobs are noobs um 
No, it, it depends on who you're watching. Like, Logical Geek Boy and uh, Waddles definitely cater to some of the newer players. So they explain a lot of the fundamentals a lot. Il Mangos and Nembom and a lot of the Sidecraft guys have been doing this so long that they, they've reached that point where they've explained the basics so many times. I mean, how, how, how often do you keep going through the basics? At, at what point do you start assuming that somebody's been watching the channel long enough to get a little bit of, or you're just tired of explaining that? And I kind of get that feeling. I, I really do. I do get so, that feeling, but I also, that's how new know, people he, get introduced to the game. He, he, he or do a, hey, if you want to understand this mechanic, I'm going to reference my tutorial video on this. Yeah. Down in the link yeah, below. A, a, little, a, little more, a little more of that. Uh, so. And then my other big issue is I don't feel like there is a lot of universal terminology. Um, well, because it's like, working, it seems more like conceptual terminology rather than quantitative. My go to answer yes and no. Um, uh huh. Sorry, I'm trying to maneuver myself and I don't have space. Oh, no, no, that that's how. That's how you end up making things sadder. All right. Um, bother. There we go. Um, oh it, it, gosh, it, you in the back ninety of this is gonna stink. You're telling me? Like, I don't know. Digging the hole? <laughs> Diggy, diggy hole. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> don't, don't suffocate in the machine. seen a wandering trader yet mm, not as of yet go fish he needs to figure his life out I'm sure he will eventually he normally comes around about this time of the stream can we like up his spawn rate or something I'm not sure what happened he was spawning like hourly and then he doesn't spawn at all I legitimately think they they crafted a union, and they've put our uh, server on watch because, well, their units never because there were the incidents. <laughs> because things happened. <laughs> oh, they were they were they were you know, contacting back via the uh, llama, you know, because the llama network said, uh, yeah. I feel like there was something there. What what was missing from there? For the second time, switch back over to the testing world and see if I can spot the difference. You remember the you remember those picture games you always saw in the magazines and doctors' offices and whatnot? You know, with the spot the difference thing. I hate that game with a blind passion. Guess what game I have to play right now? 
Minecraft. All right. Okay, so there should ha wait. Is that there? Or is that there? What are you working on? What you working on? Trading for emeralds. Do you want to help me dig a hole? <laughs> I am. Um, Would you like to build this mountain? Trying to replenish the glass supply I just ran through. Oh, I told you okay. I had no, yellow no, no. glass. So Okay, so that well, I'm not uh, done. I just used all the, the dirt glass that was so in there should storage. be logs there. Okay. Okay, so there should have been a couple of logs there. Because you're trying to make sure that leaves don't grow there How and trigger hole? something by accident. Um. So I know you can't see it right now, but. Everywhere where I put those lanterns that we want to light up, like that are all around the borders of the paths in the main village, Anon has graciously agreed that if I laid down the blocks, he would make them light up at nighttime so that we wouldn't have things try to continually kill us at night. And that is very exciting, and I am thrilled about him doing this. So to help him... I am digging out underneath two blocks and laying carpets so that he has basically a tunnel or a hallway to wire the redstone that needs to go underneath these. So I have to dig a two deep hole underneath every one of these border blocks. And put carpets in that hole underneath all of it. So that way nothing spawns when you're trying to put the redstone together. And I also have to leave my self notes and markers above ground so that I know where I have worked and where I have not. Because I don't imagine this is going to happen in a day. And... No. <laughs> well, we're... For anybody who didn't already know or realize, we're moving. Yeah. That too. So, the computers and everything will be getting packed up so that we can move Where's our that? life and our stuff to the new place, which will hopefully have better internet. Yeah, don't, uh, don't hold your breath on that one. Speaking of hoping. Speaking of hoping. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six blocks should be moved over. Did I clear again? I 
feels like something I should have remembered. Alright. So when I ask again, there's only one block moving up. And one there block should moving be up, got it. Another six after that, once I grow another birch tree. Oh, seven, because that tree was a little bit taller, naturally. Oh, Gerby. Nope. Uh, shoot. Oh. Oh my. Um. Why something appears to be broken. Again? Yep. And it was with the first tree. Oh. Alright. Where's my log jam now? I I don't even know where to begin in trying to figure out what went wrong here. I I think this might end up a monument to Murphy and uh it well it just ended up broken. <laughs> We're going to start from scratch on a new one. I don't even know what went wrong there. I... Oh. <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> you want to go kill some withers with me? Let off some stress? <laughs> That's not my definition of letting off stress. <laughs> you don't want to run for your life from a bunch of withers? I mean, that's... That's a stress reliever if I've ever heard of one. Oh, seriously. Hit the one part of the floor that doesn't have uh, hoppers under it. Well, that part's working right. That's still working right. just seems to be after you get past there. Um, hmm. fails. Let's tear this whole part. This part here down. There. I have replaced all the glass. Replaced it? Yeah, I traded for more glass and replaced what uh. I used. step at a time, right? One step at a time.
Why are we trading piggy flesh with the clerics? Why are it's we? Like we? It's not like we can't just give them gold. Uh. Waste not, want not? Well, I mean, you know. We want happy clerics, right? We gotta treat them like a Catholic. No. <laughs> no. We're, we're, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not going there. No. That, okay. That's a no. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Hmm. Um. <sighs> Is that the, uh,. the last of what was screwed up oh that whole thing got pushed down somehow this extra observer come from? Or did I put him in, in my inventory? I had to put him in my inventory then. Those go down like that. Unless this whole thing got pushed back and I didn't realize it. Um. That sounds scary. Now I am very, very confused. I had leftover rupees that I gave to the people. <laughs> rupees? You know what I mean. They really do look like rupees, though. Kinda. If you squint. <laughs> I had to resupply my blue dye, so... Hmm... <laughs> It, you know I've got a bunch of boxes of uh, zombie flesh in there for trading with those guys, right? Yeah, I had emeralds left over from where I got a ton of glass from the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The book people. Yeah, the librarians. There you go, thank you. Those guys. Hmm. Starting fresh from that point there, because uh, I want to see where the remaining problems are. So I'm hoping if uh, if it's this part that I screwed up and putting back together, 
then I should be able to get this part moving without too much trouble. And then once it wraps around, I'll be able to tell if it then breaks. Okay. So, the power. let me do this. Huh? Here, let, 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 me, let me just keep running back and forth so that way if it breaks again, I don't feel as bad. Because then I broke it. Okay. I figured you'd want to be out here to watch it go. Uh, come here. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just so checking. far, so good. How tall do birch trees get? Each one I've grown has been a little bit bigger. Your your line isn't straight anymore. It's gotten zigzagged. Yeah, it's going to, because the birch tree... That's the size of the first birch tree I grew. That's the size of the second birch tree I grew. I, I was talking about these guys. The pistons. Oh. Okay. So that at least tells me that it's somewhere on that portion of the system that things are... Oh! Uh. <laughs> that falls in the hole, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. That, that at that least gives me somewhere to... Or is that... It's obviously a timing issue, right? No, it, it's something else got pushed out of the way or moved or something when everything else got jacked up. So these are not firing when they're supposed to. Uh, so now i got to figure out what it's going to take to, to rate the counter or whatever it is that's messed up. Assuming that it's not another piece that is also uh, moved around. Hmm. You don't even have a button on top of your sound block over there. Yeah, so they don't make noises. Okay. All right. You know, in, in my profession, that seems counterintuitive. You want them to make noise. Yeah. Oh, and that just messed them up even more, didn't it? Okay. Oh, I... Doggone it. I think, uh... I think some of these did get moved around. That's going to be a lot more back and forth between the testing world and here. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a lot more back and forth. How would this have gotten knocked out of uh, position, though? I mean, the system itself was already trying to push too much, wasn't it? No, 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 no. no. So, see that, that line of logs sticking way too far down in the back right corner of the blasting chamber when you're looking at it from this direction? Here? Right here. Yeah, right there. All right, okay. so that got pushed to the piston push limit instead of getting blown away like it was supposed to. Actually, I don't think that was even supposed to get pushed down in that corner there. I, uh, I don't say, remember there being anything that would have pushed area. it down. All right, so you've got that that got pushed back to the push limit, which meant that the piston further back couldn't push the logs down the line which meant that the incoming input stream couldn't push it further down the line, which meant that the log elevator moving them up couldn't push them up because it couldn't push the ones out of the way because it couldn't push anything down. And that backlog worked its way all the way back into this part of the system here, where because that elevator that's pushing the logs down one whole tree at a time couldn't do that, Everything got pushed around back there until each piston hit its push limit back to something that couldn't hit its push limit. Ugh. Which moved a whole bunch of stuff every which way. Ouch. 
So now I get to figure out where where everything was originally supposed to be and then figure out how to set everything back up in line. But at least now I know where the worst of the brokenness is and it's in over here. Because I can grow a tree and it will push the logs out this side. It's just this part that's not working correctly. And then I can work on fixing the blast chamber. <sighs> Is it going to be basically just taking that tower down and re-putting it up? I mean... I don't know. I don't know. It all depends on what's wrong and how off it is. And what else might have gotten pushed around too. Because again, uh, all the, there's a lot of stuff that's pushing in a direction where it's only expecting to move a block. And that's it. And so something else could have gotten pushed off to the side that shouldn't have been. Doggone, how many times am I going to keep falling into the same stupid hole? <laughs> At least you're not alone this time. I fell in first. Um, uh, ouch. That's got, disgusting. Got... I feel bad for you. Yeah. If you need help tearing it down, let me know. I can at least help with that. Yeah, but this Breaking is this is gonna be. This, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work on that part on stream just because I'm gonna have to go back and forth between um, Il Mango's video and this and the oh, testing I... world and this a, until I figure out what what went wrong. I thought I thought it was gonna be because you needed Metallica playing in the background. No. <laughs> Because I, I really can't help but think that something, something is very off. Mm. And it's just going to be a matter of going back and forth and playing Spot the Difference. Can you just take like 50 screenshots and have them on a index to your left or something? Well, I still need to be able to alt-tab back and forth to move. Oh, yeah, and this side's not working right either. I haven't noticed because I haven't done any acacia, so there's no branches to, to move around. So, it's somewhere in that whole side. Uh, I'm guessing those two shouldn't be next to each other. No, they should not. Is that as simple as a fix? Can you just take that one and put it back underneath where it belongs? Uh, well, that doesn't change what got it to that part in the first place. Because we return yet again to... That shouldn't have happened in the first place. What, what got pushed past its push limit or whatever that moved something out of the way to make that happen? Because the, the only thing I can think of for that to happen would be for something to have gotten pushed out of place. More than just the pistons that I've been mo and note blocks that I've been moving around. Um, so who knows what weird signals have been sent throughout the system as note blocks got moved out of place and observers got moved out of place. And all these places where no redstone signal should have been hitting. Oh, fair enough. Don't look at me um, like that. It's a pork chop. It's not a steak. <laughs> giving you the jibba face. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have to eat my cousin in front of me, man? <laughs> no, jibba would just you be could, like, you, could at least you do share. have food in your hand, right? It's the one thing that <laughs> Minecraft... Uh, yeah, Minecraft got the dogs bang on, where they give it that little, you know, head tilt, like, I see you have meat in your hands. <laughs> they did. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, dead quiet, and I go rustling in the fridge, and all of a sudden, poof, a jubba appears to look at me and go, I heard a deli bag rustling. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know that about the Minecraft dogs until probably what? a year ago. And really? You know how long I've been playing this game. Yeah, no, I yeah. didn't know they would do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I just, I guess I just never paid attention after they were tamed. Because I don't think the wolves do it. The wolves just look at you with these uh, little beady red eyes. The <laughs> wolves do it if you have a bone in your hand. They don't if you have uh, a regular meat in your hand. Yeah, no, they they just look at you with little beady red eyes and yeah, contemplate whether like, or not they know. can take it from you. 
<laughs> you look like meat. <laughs> and if I take you, I get double the meat. <laughs> like, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh man! All right, so you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go find uh, some netherrack. I'm gonna go work on the basement for the last half hour and, and set that up. <laughs> Yikes! And like I said, if you need help with this, let me know. Uh, oh yeah! No, no, no! I I just I, I gotta figure out. Come over with a stack of TNT and we can have a big party about it. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Although trying to get some of that stuff lined up the way it's supposed to be was a nightmare and a half, and, and, and that's why I'm wondering what got uh, what got moved. Won't it be like a single component? Like most of the oh, time, no, it, it could easily have. It's a single thing I missed. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it's just uh, it could just be as simple as one small piece. Mm-hmm. Like, I have sound machines that quote-unquote broke simply because I had it set to two ticks instead of three or mm -hmm. <laughs> something in there. Or, you know, the rare instance that I forget that you can't have a torch sitting on top of your note block. <laughs> yeah, that. That too. I mean, you have like this entire chord missing out of the Star, Star Wars song. Because I had three torches over the top of the middle uh, <laughs> section of the sound blocks. It was nice. like, wait a minute. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> you gotta have that thing completely empty. But anyway. Oh, um. I put the, uh. Oh, wait a second, I thought I had a redstone block on me. Where did I put that? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> you sound like Piglet. You like Piglet. Oh my. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Alright. Let's get that moved over there. Let's hang on to that just in case I need it. That just in case I need it. That just in case I need it. Put that away there. That away there. Get that away there. No reason why I brought that out is to block that up. Put it away in there. Yeah. Try to keep the place tidy before people start accusing you of leaving unwieldy chest monsters around. I mean, I don't know about mm -hmm. it to do that, but... It's mm -hmm. worth keeping an eye out on that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Would Fairly neat. Uh, hmm? I said you should know, Mr. Uh, Chess Monster Criminal of the Server. Not that bad. Mm-hmm. I didn't screw up something in that wiring, did I? Okay, no, there it goes. And there should be 15 in there by the time this is done. No. Oh. oh, wait, no, 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 because there should be one stuck in the hopper behind it. Okay. Where did I put that nether rack? Or nether brick? No, the nether rack was for a different project. <laughs> well, that's what I use as the floor for the uh, hog farm, if you noticed. Technically, didn't have to do that, but uh, it just it seemed somehow appropriate. No, but you do need the crimson nylium so you can put down the fungus. And, uh... Obviously you need the warped fungus itself. Um, 
and lots and lots of torches. I mean, I guess technically you could use lanterns, but I think lanterns block the spot from spawning. That's one of those things that I'd like to look into to see if there's a reason for using torches or uh, if anything will work. Yeah, you got or me. Or maybe if you put... No idea. <laughs> or maybe if... Oh. <laughs> or maybe if you just put... Uh, Alright. Do I want to move the walls back one more? Yeah, I know that's going to be wider than I need, but it'll give the room a little more symmetry. Because that basement you never go into, that's totally deserving of symmetry. I'm about to put most of this grass back soon, too. Uh, one of the, after I get... After I get this lined up and lit, I'm going to try to cover this up so that uh, it's not an eyesore. I really want to cover as much of the redstone that is below ground or near where the below ground is. Make sure that that uh, is as covered, as covered up as I can get it. Make the hills look like a uh, nice terrain. Do some landscaping. I can't stand real world landscaping, but I can do Minecraft landscaping. <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, oh, and this. This guy next to me here. This was a beast and a half to figure out. Because the video that uh, is available is from before the 1.16 redstone update. And unlike everything else, instead of kind of, sort of, mostly working, this is like utterly and completely broken. So the, a whole, I had to find the other, other name for this type of device for the, the block update device. To make this work i am kind of yeah well because the original the original video is zero tick pistons and the other one was something else and then the most recent one was block update detectors and the idea is that when you place a block behind that sticky piston it suddenly realizes that it is actually powered and causes it to pulse, which causes everything else to do its thing. That ultimately causes this to push up. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, like I'm all these, sure all English. these, all these, all these other smart pistons. There we go. That was the other one. Smart pistons. All these other smart pistons. I I can pretty much reverse engineer and figure it out. Um, this guy, however. Nah, this is totally beyond me. Uh, although I am happy to see that I was right in one thing. Uh, the composter wasn't a thing in the earlier videos. And so he's like, you need a signal strength of four. So put a stack of things in a furnace. And that'll output a signal strength of four. So like, yeah, but we got, we got composters now, man. You can just get that up to a level of four by using pumpkin pies because a pumpkin pie is guaranteed to give it a level of one. And it goes up to, it kind of skips five and goes straight from four to six. Like you throw a pumpkin pie, it gets the first layer of material at the bottom and it gives off a signal strength of one. You put another pumpkin pie, it goes up a level and gives off a signal strength of two. Uh, same for three, same for four. Then you get to five, at which point it is also technically full, and then it switches to ready to harvest a bone meal, which is a power level of six. Mm. And it's like, oh, uh, really? Really? 
But in the update video where he did this, instead of using the furnaces, he used the compost and I was like, hey, I figured a thing out before he told me. I feel vaguely smart. Then, you know, you hear that voice in the head going, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. Yeah, the Zen of Han Solo. Bringing this whole stream back to its back to its beginning. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll put the wall here. The wall's gonna meet there. Yeah, there we go. All right, then let's clear off the rest of this. has been quiet for an awfully long time. Am I the she only one worried been. about what's going on? Um, from what I can vaguely hear in the background, it sounds like there's some sort of either state or national address happening about uh, certain uh, yeah. viruses. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know what's happening. Hmm. I to do this basement in another brick either. Maybe it's because I got the hoglins there, and it's, uh, or the piglin trader, sorry. Man, am I destined to, like, forever mix those two up and say one when I meant the other? <laughs> Probably. I mean, one of those two is a tasty dinner. The other two gives us really nice stuff in exchange for gold. Y you would think I'd be able to keep the difference together, you know? No wandering traders yet. <laughs> no wandering traders yet. No. I also need to figure out where I'm going to put a ladder going in and out. I need some stairs. Preferably not where the TNT goes. How about that? Thank you. I appreciate that help. I try. That's the important part. figure out a better way to get down in there to look at that thing anyway, just in case I need to do maintenance. I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. In the meantime, that way I don't fall in. forget I did that, aren't I? Don't answer that. Possibly. Maybe. Oh, did I seriously put ladders where I can't get through? Seriously put stairs where I can't get through.
There we go. I can at least get over that thing now. I need to hide a lot of stuff. Alright, so at least I know from the messed up part on is working correctly. From everything prior to the messed up part, everything seems to be working. It's just this part here and its partner on the other side that seem to be seven kinds of messed up. I'm still kind of wondering where, where that where that's coming from. Did something on... Oop. Something over here. Oh, that's my wall. Oop. No, that... That's all working correctly. Or wired up correctly, at least. Not yet. Could it be that simple? Did... Can I reach the thing that I need to reach? That should be three random items. That is one random item. Two. But where's random item number three? Hunting droppers for three random items. Where's my uh, scaffold? Or where's my scaffolding? Or my hairbrush? I'll take either one. Don't need a hairbrush. You don't have hair. stuck in your head anyway. Not this time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Can't go that way. Maybe I just need to drop this floor down a little bit. Uh... I was trying to get... Nope. Not there. Here. Just heard a whole bunch of stuff go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Good kind of perfect, Although... or like the other kind of perfect? <laughs> what? Our family being noted for sarcasm? I have no idea what you I mean. I know not what you speak. Mm -hmm. Somebody else sleeping, or do I need to? I'm certainly not doing it. 
<laughs> we know. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> uh, by the way, when's the last time you've eaten in game? I'm full right now. Mm -hmm. So if I check your health bar, oh, hey, it's actually Go ahead. full. Do it. Huh? Uh huh. <laughs> huh? What? Say what again? What? <laughs> <laughs> Say something not family appropriate. Say it again. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Why do we have phantom... Oh, Brass is near me. <laughs> Where are they? I don't know. I think they're dead by now. But I heard them. <laughs> uh, they will be soon. They won't die when they're taking damage and the sun damages them, so... I honestly wonder if the developers had watched too much Riddick when they developed the, uh... Phantoms? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the movie, wasn't it, Riddick? The first one? No, Pitch Black was the first one. There you go. Yeah, Pitch Black was the first one. That That's the one that I'm thinking of. Well, chronologically, not the... F you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Actually, I think it was chronologically the first one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay. Because I was about to say, the, the person he meets in prison is the same... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is, is one of the only three that make it off the planet with him? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, surprised goodness. there's no cries for spoiler alert. <laughs> Although that, game, that movie's been out for how long now? Way further. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean, um... Do you want to know? Hold on, let's look it up. Oh no, let's oh, not look Lord. it up. Let's <laughs> let's not. We can. We I, can I've had enough trauma today. <laughs> trauma. <laughs> oh, I've had enough trauma today. Thank February eighteenth, two thousand. Wow. Twenty years ago. I you know a lot of stuff happened twenty years ago. Man. <laughs> happened 20 years ago. Do I? Why 20 years ago? I met this crazy Minecrafter. You weren't a Minecrafter mm -hmm. back then. She's a gamer, but she's not a Minecrafter. No, no, no. no. Still crazy, but you know. <laughs> this is me wisely keeping quiet for a change. Often <laughs> yell at him do it. <laughs> Parkour. Um, oh, I'm lost in a maze of my own redstone. I can't help you with that. <laughs> fix the other side what I ran all the way over here for a reason and I don't remember what I'm sure it'll be fine I need oh because I was going to fill in this patch this hole with grass later 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 And in today's episode of Redstone Parkour. <laughs> we cheat. That's not cheating, sir. That's using the resources Mo Yang gave you. <laughs> exactly. It's not cheating if they give it to you. Is that it? Yep, exactly. Ah! Four, five, it's not cheating if their programmers left it in the game. <laughs> That's how all rules work. <laughs> I should have seven Not cheating of these guys. if there's a loophole. <laughs> 
Alright, so I've got seven of those guys. Oop. Oop. Here's my Scooby Snack. Yeah, I notice I'm going through pork chops a lot faster than I ever went through uh, any other food source. Are they not as filling? <laughs> no, they're nope. I, no, they're not. They're like two steps below. I want to say it's a golden apple, golden carrot, steak, then pork chop, then chicken. I feel like I'm missing something in there. Where's the Where's the pie at? The apple or the pumpkin uh, pie? The the pie, the pumpkin pie. That that is like the worst thing you could ever get. What? Yeah, no, I didn't think that was accurate, but okay. Uh, between go. both the, the haunches and the filling, say. huh? Oh no, it's the tastiest thing you can get. But in the game, it's the worst thing you can get if you plan on feeding yourself. Trust no. me, I went. Th Do you know how many pumpkin pies I went through in season zero? No, but we could a go lot. look. Uh, Isn't that a stat? It is a stat. Did Did I miss that tree growing? Did it grow right? I feel like something went wrong there. Maybe not. Okay. So far, so good. How did... What? Uh... Why is that... From the Wandering Traders? So I got three trees out right there. I should now have four trees over there. trees over here. And so far so good. And the next one should start filling up the block stream again. Or the block conveyor belt depending on who you're talking to. Or is that that terminology thing you were getting kind of cranky about? That would be the terminology thing I was getting cranky about. Oh. Oh, hey. All right. Is that actually working? Because that reset like it should. The other side looking right. The other side is still looking right. Let me do one more tree. That should go up to the next level. Means we can actually finish on a high note. So far, so good. So far, so good. I know I'm holding my breath trying to... Like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Ooh. All right. So we get all the way it up happened. there and... Um, 
and do one more. Turn that off. I'll pick up the extras. Have a victory nap. What is coming? What is coming? The night time. It came in yeah. like... Like a bad dream. Okay. So... It looks like the log farm or the tree part the tree farm part is fixed and finished. Uh, this part is next. Not tonight, but this part is next. Uh, as we've mentioned a few times, we're moving, so uh, no stream this Friday. If I get enough boxes packed that I feel comfortable taking the time to do it. Tomorrow I may do my normal uh, Friday stream and then just so that way I'll have stuff loaded up and ready to go while I'm moving and all that and uh, the content can proceed apace. That is very tentative. Check Twitter, follow on uh, Twitch if you haven't already, that way you'll know if I do in fact go live. Just uh, bear in mind that, that might be a thing. I don't know why I'm looking for apples. I haven't grown anything that would produce apples. But we are getting some sticks. Maybe I'll just hook that up to the furnace array. <laughs> Alright. I feel a little bit better. The tree farm part is working. The block conveyor belt or the block stream, however you want to look at it. The logs keep a rolling. And now it's just a matter of, uh, okay. I've got a lot of stuff to clear out of there before, before I can consider that ready to go. And then, uh, and then I can start covering this up and I can get Arcadius to build a TNT themed window into the blast chamber that is also on the agenda all right I'm rambling let me uh let me hit the where's that credits button all right <laughs> thank you for joining along sorry you got a little rambly towards the end I'm just so happy that we finally got the the farm working again well the farm part of the thing is working now I just got to fix the blast chamber and then I can start working on the expansions from there because I do still want to uh, put together Cobble Farm and start feeding that into this. And I do still want to put together a uh, basalt generator and feed that into this. Um, that That's going to happen later. I'm probably not going to get any work done on anything until next stream. Just because, like I said, we're moving. So yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is all going to be taken up with moving. I start the new job on Monday. Well, new position. Uh, on Monday and uh, then maybe things will start settling back into the same schedule although given my new work hours I might have to move the streams back from uh, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock US Eastern uh, not sure on that we'll see how things go next week and just in case you missed my mentioning it earlier if I get enough boxes packed that I'm happy with my own progress, tomorrow I may do the Games Revisited stream that I would normally do on Friday, just so that way the YouTube content can proceed apace. Speaking of which, if you haven't already subscribed to YouTube, you'll get archives of the Coffee Craft live streams. When I get back to producing Coffee Craft episodes, those will get posted there too. Uh, data pack, redstone videos, that sort of stuff will go up there. The Games Revisited episodes will go up there. And I do plan on expanding the content into a bit of a variety channel, even though YouTube says you shouldn't do that. Uh, I don't care. 
I'm making it a variety channel because I, I think that those really should be a thing. And I'm going to push back on the convention. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have fun. And I'll see you whenever I see you next.